fellow bike riders, I just got back from a 45 mile ride and had yet another slow leak. I've had a whole series of these over the last uh, couple of uh, days and I think I figured it out. Um, I had a, a real genuine flat and we changed it out and put a, a new tube in. After thoroughly checking everything to make sure that there was nothing in the inside of the tire, right, you always do that typically turn it wrong side out and inspect it carefully for pieces of glass and things like that. Um, but I got a slow leak and so we changed that out and later on I had another slow leak. And coming back today it was okay when I put my bike in the back of my truck but when I pulled it out when I got home guess what? I had another flat tire on the back. So I took all the tubes that we had changed and stuck them in a bucket of water um, to try to find out what was going on and what I discovered was uh, on the side kind of like in this area here every one of them had a tiny tiny little uh, horizontal uh, cut just a really bitty one which was what was giving me the slow leaks so after three of those things I figured there's got to be something else wrong now we always check the inside of the rim and the inside of the tire and all that kind of stuff. But this time I did it incredibly carefully. Let me show you here so we can get it out here where you can see it in the sun. Every one of these holes which are drilled for the um, spokes, every one of these is, is rough. I mean you can run your finger over it and you can feel burrs sticking up off the holes. Right? Every one of them is like that. Now, that's probably not really unusual. Uh, I doubt that most uh, bike factories polish these things. But anyway, um, those little burrs typically are not a problem um, because, as we all know, there's tape. The tape goes over that and it's supposed to cover up those holes. And in fact, um, it kind of does. Now, if you look at this right here, you can see where the hole is covered up for, um, for the spoke. But this tape was not centered, and that causes a problem. This right here, you can see that that dent, which is supposed to cover up the hole, is not actually covering up the entire hole. Right there. So, every other one of these things this one in particular it's terrible look at the hole on that one the dent on that one right there the edge of that hole is not covered by that tape and because there were so many of these uh, that have this issue where the hole is not covered by the tape any one of them could have been causing the tiny little cut because the flashing would be right about in here and when the tube is blown up, expanded, it'll kind of catch the bottom edge, you know, like kind of over here. And that's where all the little cuts were. So what I did was I went in here and I polished every one of these holes with some uh, wet or dry paper. So I took the burrs off of every one of the holes. And then when I put this thing back together again, I hope for the last time... I'm going to try to get this tape centered. I don't know if it's going to center, but I'll give it a try. I may have to go get new tape and start this all over again. But you can see where the tape was off center and it was actually a, a bit up on the side of the rim. So if you're plagued by a whole bunch of slow leaks, which I have been, and you keep looking to try to find something and you don't find something, I'd suggest you make sure that your tape is covering over every one of these daggone holes uh, and better yet go in and make sure there's no flashing uh, coming up off of any of the holes where they were drilled. So I'm pretty sure I've just solved the mystery of multiple slow leaks. Um, I guess I'll find out uh, on my next ride but I'm pretty sure that's it. Now I just have to decide if I want to patch these tiny little leaks and save myself eight or ten bucks per tube or just uh, abandon the whole mess and start over again with new tubes. I don't know. Depends on if I hit the lotto. 
unlikely. That's the answer to a bad wheel tape. Get new wheel tape. That's what I just did. Went down to the local bike shop, which is, of course, a Trek. I have a Trek. Actually, I bought it from them. Um, and get some new wheel tape. And this wheel tape is very nice. It goes all the way out to the edge on both sides and covers the holes, no matter if they're a little... They, actually, they are off-center in order to uh, thread the, the uh, spokes correctly. So all of the holes are now nicely covered all the way from edge to edge. And I think I'm ready to go. And while I was there, I bought a couple new tubes just so I'd have the new ones because I may or may not fix the old ones right away. And if I do, I'm probably going to use these. They're called uh, Super Patch. But if you go to Walmart and buy them for about half that price right there, they're called Scabs because they're little things. Uh, notice this too, the skewer is out. I discovered some time ago changing these wheels on these electric bikes is a big pain in the butt. Actually, anything with a disc brake can be a pain. Um, and I take the skewer out because the end of the um, axle right here is just long enough uh, that it fits in the dropout without the skewer. And it makes it a lot easier to manipulate around here without that um, you know, quick release skewer. So they go back in real easy um, and the wheel fits in there just fine without the skewer. Make life a little easier whenever you can. Hmm? That's the answer, huh? So there's my uh, story. It's amazing that this happened after actually a couple of years. I've had this bike a couple of years. And I've never had this kind of thing happen before. But I'm sure that's what was going on while I was getting those tiny, tiny little cuts on the uh, inside of those tubes. I'll know in a day or so because I'm going to put this back together and uh, probably do another 45 or 50 uh, later on in the week. So, 10-4, rubber ducky, over and out. <laughs>